Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable Voice CMD on your Samsung Galaxy S3. A lot of you guys have been asking me how to do this on the 50 Reasons video. So instead of responding to individual comments, I'm going to go ahead and make this quick how-to. So from your home screen, tap the menu button and then go over to settings. And then from settings, scroll down to where it says language and input, so right over here. And then from here, scroll down again to Voice CMD for apps. So you can see right now the switch is set to off. All you got to do is switch it to on, and if you want to have a little bit more options, you can just tap on this guy right over here, and then you can see, you can actually disable or enable certain voice commands for certain apps. So for example, if you don't want voice controls for incoming calls, you go ahead and uncheck it so you don't have to worry about accidentally picking up or rejecting a call that you may not want to. For the alarm, camera, and music, you do the same thing. I'm not going to go into the individual you know, commands here, but if you guys want to know them, you can actually just read these text, or this text right below each option, and it'll actually tell you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here, and really quick, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how it works. So I'll open up the camera app on my phone, and uh, you can see I, you know, I'm talking how I normally would, so it's not going to respond to you know, anything I'm saying until I actually give it the command it needs. So for example, capture. Take it phone buff. So you can see it only responds to the actual commands that it, you know it's listening out for. So it's pretty accurate. Sometimes you do have to repeat yourself a few times for it to actually work, but you know overall it's been, you know, pretty good for me. I mostly enjoy the camera one, you know, when I'm taking that self portrait with, you know, me and somebody else. Uh, really easy to do that instead of trying to find that little shutter button. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me and this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.